guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we're gonna do some heat transfer vinyl DIY gift ideas, projects, um, whatever you wanna call it, just some ideas. Now, um, I am using my HTV Ront, it's over here, heat press that you saw me review some time ago. Now, um, if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I have a special announcement about that. Um, so what we're going to do here is make this shirt for myself, actually. I am, I'm going to wear it today. I'm going to a coffee festival. Now, I've shown you before how the heat transfer vinyl works, but I want to show you how I line it up. So this is a V-neck, so I know the center is here. Usually I go down about three fingers, and this is just Taylor chalk. You can use regular chalk, but I'm just marking where it goes, right? Now, you're not gonna see the, well, I guess, let me see. How can I get you to see the whole project? So you, but here is the shirt on the press. I just make sure everything is nice and smooth. There's Wellington in his little bed. We push it in. And I'm just warming up the shirt. Because what I want to do is make it flat. So, and we're only doing 20 seconds because this vinyl, that's how long it takes. So we'll let that do its thing. It's not even up to temperature yet, but not a big deal. All right, put you back. And that's just telling me that it's ready. Now what this is, is heat transfer vinyl. Um, I'm gonna show you a little segment here about how it, I cut it and weed it. Okay, so I've already cut it out and I have weeded it. It says death before decaf. I'm gonna put it over here on the t-shirt. I'm lining it up, trying to get it centered and all of that. We're almost up to temperature. And what I can also do is walk you through a couple of the other supplies I use. So I definitely use Taylor's chalk. You can also use a friction erasable pen heat will erase this so if i wrote on a shirt and i used an iron it would take the ink off you can use that for all your craft and sewing um projects then i used scissors and this is not the cricut tool that came with it this happens to be a dental pick i ordered five of them from China, I'm assuming, a long time ago when I got my Cricut, and I love it. It's nice and pointy, and you can really get in there and get the small pieces of the vinyl out. All right, we're going to take this up a little more, but I'm going to set this shirt in the machine. Oops. The other thing, almost forgot. The other thing I like to use is a piece of cloth. Now it did come with a piece of silicone, which I just need to cut it down to size for this machine. It's just way too big and bulky and cumbersome to use on this table. But here we go, if you listen. So what I plan on doing, I'm gonna wear this shirt today, but I'm also making some Christmas pajamas for a family member. I've got some bags. We're gonna try all different types of 
fabric and materials to see exactly what we can personalize. Because I just love a personalized gift. I think they're fantastic. All right, let's see what's going on here. Now this white vinyl, and you would have seen me struggling with this purpley black color. That was the HTV vinyl that came with this um, heat press, and it's not good. I don't recommend it. it. You saw how much I was struggling to peel off the backing. To, it's called weeding to get the pieces off. So you saw that, um, it's just a struggle. So all I'm doing is peeling, oops. So I need, that one didn't quite adhere, but that's okay. We're going to take this off. Oh, and look what I did at the bottom, guys. There we go. I'm gonna put it back into the press, but I need to try to get this off. So if you ever, <laughs> if you ever uh, get your heat vinyl where it shouldn't be, I didn't weed this little piece at the bottom. I'm just going to scrape it off if I can get it off. It hasn't set yet, but I also do not want to stick it back onto the press and reheat it until I get this off. So give me one second. All right, I got the little pieces of white off the bottom. There was a line right here. It comes off relatively easy right after you do it. Also, it is recommended that you wait 24 to 48 hours before washing. This to give the glue on the back a chance to um, set up. So this one I did twice through the press. And if you could hear the press going, I have another one in here. So I'm making a set of Christmas Eve pajamas for my family. So I have that shirt there and the shirts are 60% uh, cotton, 40% polyester. The vinyl in white is Sizer, S-I-S-E-R, Easy Weed. Um, I think it's like extra stretch. I don't know. I really love it. That is my go-to, my go-to vinyl at this point. I don't really even care for the Cricut vinyl too terribly much. Um, this just sticks well, peels well on multiple surfaces. You peel it when it's still a little warm. And then I always just run it back under. Uh, this shirt, I ordered extra large tall, so it'll be like a night shirt for the person who is going to be wearing it. And I did red and black as the theme, and you'll see why here in a second. Uh, where did my... Here it is. So this is the other one, same Easy Weed by Sizer. I will also tell you that the Sizer um, heat transfer vinyl comes in the 36 inch roll. The Cricut only comes in 24. And I think the HTV Rant comes in um, 48 inches. Now, the next thing we're gonna try, guys, I don't know how this is gonna work. I've never used this before. But these are from the Dollar Tree. They are 100% polyester. Now this sizer says it works on polyester. But I am going to do one thing. I'm just centering it. And that is I'm going to um, turn down the amount of time that it's going to be on the heat because this is polyester. So we're probably gonna turn it down and do like 10 seconds at a time. And then I figured these are for the, my family's cats. But I think what they can do is just tie them on. Just tie like a, a neckerchief, if you will. So I'm putting them on the heat press. I'm going with the same temperature 
Um, what I've been doing is 25 seconds, but I'm gonna go down time-wise to 10 second intervals and just see what that does. And let's just hope polyester doesn't melt. I mean, I know it will melt, but let's hope it won't. Alexa, stop. I don't, I don't think I said anything to her, but you know. And look how easy that peels off. Okay, let's see. Well, it didn't melt. And it did stick. At the 10 seconds. Ah, oh, that is perfect. Guys, I'm super excited. So you can personalize. I mean, these are just from the Dollar Tree. And now I will wipe off the chalk. But it just brushes off like that. But look at these. And they're just going to be little bandanas for the pets. So easy. So quick. Now, if you don't have a heat transfer machine, you can certainly use an iron with any of this. If you don't have a Cricut or a machine that, um, I'm just running this back through, and then we're going to move on to something different. If you don't have a cutting machine, like a Cricut or a Silhouette or, I uh, can't remember, a Brother, you can 100% use your regular iron. What you need to do is put pressure on it. So you would put your item down with an iron and kind of push on it. You can also utilize a um, the Cricut Easy Press. I have one of those. Again, you put pressure. This is just so easy. It's just set it and forget it for me, which I love that. Um, when I want to do something like I'm doing today, sorry, I'm walking, uh, which is, making a bunch of gifts. I'm trying to get this piece of plastic for a reason you're gonna see in a second. So this is the, vinyl transfer, but we're gonna use that in a second. I just ran that t-shirt through one more time. So if you get it, tis the season to be jolly and the cats are fa la 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 la. Oh, I'm dying here, guys. I'm dying. Okay, we're going to start. These are a bunch of just different little bags and they're all different materials. This is adhesive, but I'm going to put it in here behind in hopes that this doesn't melt. I don't think it's going to melt. Now, because my um, machine has padding, it shouldn't matter that there's some bumps here. This is just a burlap bag. So we're gonna put it on the machine and we're going to run it. And let's hope for the best. Also, I got this bag at the Dollar Tree. These are like, um, they're suede in material. We're gonna see if that will HTV as well. All right, if you stuck around this long, we're going to have a giveaway. I have an extra one of these machines that was sent to me and they said that I could give it away on my channel. Oh boy, I don't know about all this. I think we melted something. Eww. Well, that came off, so that's good. We're just gonna kinda pull the plastic out and see if I can pull this apart. It did melt, just so we're all aware. It melted, but not terribly. It's just hot at this point on the inside. So I'm just trying to, but I was able to pull it apart. Right? Perfect. Um, so here's the takeaway. I don't recommend running that through, but if you are better than I am and put, um, 
did better on the inside, it might work, but I don't even think that's the case. It's bad. Okay, that was a fail. Okay, sorry. So what you're going to do is you're going to leave a comment below for me. You have to live in the United States. That is all there is to it. Because I have to ship this thing and it's going, it's heavy. It's like 40 pounds. And wait, I'm turning this heat down. Or I'm the timer down. Okay, sorry. Giveaway. Girl, stay focused. If you would like to enter the giveaway, you need to leave a comment. And in the comment, you need to say crafting. The word crafting. Somehow. It doesn't matter how you say it. It doesn't matter if it's in a sentence. When I do the random gen uh, comment generator, I am going to look for the word crafting. All right, so that needs a few more minutes on the press, but I was afraid it would melt as well. But it does not appear to have melted. I mean, it got warm on the inside, don't get me wrong but it didn't like pull away. Yeah, it works. Let's see if I can do one more press, I think. Just didn't quite give it long enough to stick. Um, but please don't say giveaway, don't say um, enter don't say rent you know when what happens is bots go out and they look for giveaways and they enter them and i would really like somebody from my channel to win this so what will happen is you're going to leave a comment and one week from today so next monday i'm going to do the random comment generator we're going to pick a winner you will reach out to me via email you need to be a subscriber to my channel so that I know, you know, that I would, like I said, I would like somebody to be a subscriber. Look at that. Perfect. It did take a little longer. And what I would recommend doing, if you do these lined bags, it's not stuck hard, it's just together. But you can also, if you do a lot, put some fabric in between. I love it. Super cute. I think this is melting. We should probably not use my cutting mat with all this heat. What do you guys think? All right, so then we have this. And this is multi layers and multi color. So this is navy blue, I already did it. This is red and he's just gonna go right here. And I already happen to know, because I've done a few of these, they take 30 seconds. On that. Did I finish going over the giveaway? I stink at this. All right, let's start at the beginning. I'm giving away a heat press. You have to be a citizen. You need to be a subscriber. A citizen. You need to live in the United States. I don't care what citizen country your citizenship belongs to. But you need to have a U.S. address. You need to leave a comment with the word craft in it. You need to be a subscriber. Those are all the things that need to happen in order for you to win this um, heat transfer vinyl. And I will ship it to you. A week from today, a video will go up. And on that video, I will do the drawing. And I will see... I will pull comments on who won the heat transfer vinyl. You will need to email me. When you email me, I will email you back at the email address and confirm that you won the heat transfer uh, machine and then I'll get it shipped. I'm not guaranteeing it's going to be shipped before I leave for vacation, but I will try my darndest. So that is the giveaway. I am layering colors here and all you do is do each color and then you make sure you cover all of this and you just do each layer separately. And we're gonna do one more bag, but I need to charge my battery, so give me one moment. All right, the last thing we're gonna make is a bag 
I'm going to do a gift for coffee for someone. So it just says death before decaf and it's a muslin drawstring bag that I could fill with goodies. So this is going on to the heat press right now. And I already did one, so I'm making two of them just for ease. So what I did is I cut out that in black. I cut out like these flames. You could do that in brown, I did it in red. And then the head, the skull. This is the HTV Ront that I used. And I don't love, remember? Not loving that. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna put that right there. We're gonna pull that out, let it cool for a second, and we're gonna put this one in. And it's gonna go for 30 seconds. How quick and easy is this if you have this tool? But again, you don't have to have this tool. Ooh. My little bee, I think I, I don't know, it didn't stick. I think the little bee was on upside down. Oh well, I'll just take a little Sharpie and fix that. I think I it popped out and I did it the wrong direction. So again, we'll put that right there and I can just take a little Sharpie this is really just a gift bag and it's gonna have coffee in it that I'm gonna hopefully buy today at the coffee festival. See how that works? I am almost done Christmas shopping, guys. So that is doing its thing. I can pull this off. If things start to not stick, put it back and send it through again. Just don't melt it. I did that, remember, already? And then this little skull, you can get out tools and measure and, yeah, I'm not doing all that. I'm just sticking the head in there. How cute is that? So I will run these back through and then I will come and I will show you and talk about all the things I made today. Okay, guys, I got everything here that I made and I wanted to show you. I know I went a little all over the place during that video, but that's okay. We got the products. So this is for the stitching retreat that I'm going to. And I'm going to put some little table mate gifts in here. And then it just pulls like that. And it's a little memento for people to take home. And I love this little soldier guy. So this is navy blue red and black now what i didn't say during the process is you do not want to overheat i wouldn't want to keep melting the adhesive here because what would happen is it would just stop sticking so i like three maybe four colors maximum and if i'm going to use that many i lower my how long i keep it on the heat just as an fyi and then i made this like little makeup bag from the dollar tree if I make more, what I will probably do is put some parchment paper. Like, I'll just cut a piece that fits inside. It did not stick together or ruin the plastic, but you did have to, I did have to go in and, like, separate it right away, which is not a big deal. But this is adorable. Can you just imagine personalizing for, like, a bridal shower or Christmas gifts or birthday, whatever. Girls weekend, you can personalize this for whatever you want. And for $1.25. Um, and these bags I got, I get on Amazon. They're just muslin or cotton drawstring bags. And this will be a gift. I'm going to get coffee and put in here. And maybe like some stirs or something. And again, it will close up like that. And it will hold a present. Like a gift bag. But I might put like a mug in here. Ooh a mug and some coffee and make this a Christmas gift. So I made two just in case. Who doesn't like? Okay. I'm not even going to go there because some people drink decaf. I don't know. Um, I made this today for me and it just says death before decaf and I'm wearing it to the coffee um, festival and I'm going to drink all the coffee today. So I needed a t-shirt. So I need to go get dressed, actually. I'm running out of time. 
And then the last thing I made were some uh, family pajamas for somebody for a Christmas gift. So we have Tis the Season. And then we have To Be Jolly. And I found this on Pinterest. And then for the cats, oh, wrong one. Fa la 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 la. La 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 la. So I just made these fun things. I thought you would be interested. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Please don't say giveaway. Don't say win because we don't want bots to come in and try to read. And to go over the rules again, because I think I was all over the place. You must be a subscriber. You must live in the continental UN United States or have a United States shipping address. And you need to put in your comment the word craft, C-R-A-F-T. And one week from today, I will do the random comment generator on uh, the interwebs and we will pick a winner and we will get that ball rolling so that you too can have a heat transfer machine. All right, guys, I'll talk with you later.